Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Busy. Um, I spent some time in the garden today. I think I caught some sun on my right hand. Sorry, <laughs> that's my left hand. Sitting with my computer towards the sun. How are you, Mimi? <laughs> Hello, Wonderful. Oh, I love the sun. Yeah, it's lovely yeah. weather here in Britain. Yes, hello, hello. Uh, are we, oh, we have uh, not just Brits here. We have uh, your tourists here in Iceland. We have Julia, Julian, where are you? Julian Brown, where are you? Oh, I can't hear you. Wait, wait, say something now. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. All right, so um, Julian Plested, I don't, I don't know where you are. You're in London? Oh, listen, I can't unmute people. Wait a second. Wait a second. It looks like I can't. Uh, yeah, you need to unmute yourself. Maybe you can do that because we're still admitting people and your sound is muted uh, on arrival. Who wants to make a noise? <laughs> now you, oh, I heard that noise. <laughs> that noise. All right. That's still right. Well, I'm a man of few words, so I'll say something. Hello, Paulina. Hello, Mimi. Hi, Michael. Hi, Paulina. Hi, Paulina. Hello. 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 Hi, everyone. Right, now we can speak. <laughs> now we can speak. Yeah. And your tech hi, Right, okay. Hi, sweetie. Okay, so welcome. Uh, right. Yesterday was beautiful, Paulina. Yeah, you yeah. like the concert? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know that, um, as, as Vanya said yesterday, him and I have not uh, have not a great played. concert yesterday. Fantastic huh? concert. Great concert huh? yesterday. Super. I'm, Love it. I'm glad you like So let me mute you now because... <laughs> Uh, so um, yesterday was the first time that um, well, Vanya and I actually kind of talked a bit and then decided to sing together um, because, um, because, you know, we, we are aware of each other and we sometimes go to the same festivals and sometimes I perform in the same places where house concerts as well in America somewhere where we have the same hosts, but we don't really have a chance to, to talk and sometimes share a platform together. So that was interesting. And also his repertoire has changed since I last heard him. So it was interesting, wasn't it? He sang um, two Roma songs. So those of you who were here, I hope you, you know, all enjoyed it. And um, you probably saw his little note on the website because people asked what the songs were, what the names of the songs were, which language it was. So uh, the, there's a person called Ona. I don't know what that means, Ona. Should we admit him? I don't know what I don't know what to do about it. Oh no. It's, yeah, I think Merlin has admitted him. Okay. We'll see. Right. Okay, let's go into our song. Go into our song. Uh, so we sit upright. Now I did not find any good links for you uh, for this particular song. There is a Soviet film, a children's film made in about poverty and kids, and still it's very positive how kids um, are being taken care of the Soviets and how they joined the movement and all that. So it's a lovely film, but I couldn't find it with English subtitles. And the name of the film is the same title of as that poem. And that poem has a very interesting message in it. So we will look at it in a minute. But first of all, let's let's just sing through the music. Now, I, how many of you have music in front of you printed? Anyone? Anyone does that? A couple of people? Yes. Some of you decide to print it in advance. If you really need to be, uh, you know, to have something, uh, then have that. But for now, I would like us to sing through the tune without looking at it. Now, it goes straight up. The highest note appears straight there in the first phrase and then doesn't appear anywhere else. So first of all, we sit upright and sing hum a couple of notes to warm up. It'll be a bit high for some of us. In fact, let's go low. Let's go low. Let's go here. We sing this that one note together. Oh, 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 oh. Where, where your voice is today, make it really settle here. Oh, and then we'll go up and down just a couple of times, up and down in our rages. In as high as is comfortable, as low as is comfortable, try to stretch it a bit in one minute. Okay. Oh. And then again, up, 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 up. Oh. 
okay. I heard, I heard some of you doing that. Um, you may sound a bit better than me. It's quite a fun thing to do. Uh, try here. Uh, uh, uh. So for some of us, it's a comfortable note to go to. Um, it should be okay for most of us. And then we go really low. Uh, uh, try that. Uh, and then all the way up from that lowest note to the highest note. And you're all good singers there. You're all sitting really upright, not doing any of that. <laughs> oh, you know, like some people go up and they go up with their body. No, everything happens inside your body. So that's what we need to do. La, 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 la. The first phrase just goes like that. I sing your phrase, you sing it back. Let's go through the tune, um, not using our sheet, just one time. Listen. La, 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 la. together one and two la 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 yes how is that yeah let's go to the next phrase la 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 um, da -da 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 -da. because we may go through more than just one verse and I did not put all the verses in the music. So let's let's train our musical memory for this, okay? Let's go from the beginning. One, two, three. La, 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 la. a slight variation as always. I've known this uh, Russian art song since I was, I don't know, 11 years old uh, or something like that. I was really young when I first heard it, learned it. It was one of these most common uh, things to teach in schools and music schools. Right, here it is. Um, it's in a different key. It's in E minor. It's quite considerably higher. So we will sing it. We're singing in G minor. It's quite low, much lower. 
Okay, let's go together. One and two. La 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, so um, the tempo, the rhythm of the song is quite specific. This. Who knows what it is? Anyone has written about it yet? No. Who knows what it is? Oh, what? 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 Say something. You're waving. Yeah, somebody was waving. Uh, so this. Is, yeah. Bulga. Um, Bulga. We just had this discussion. Is it a mazurka? Dum, da, da, da. Okay. Mm, not the mazurka. Mazurka is. That's mazurka. And this is. Um. Now, how many of you know this piece? Russians, we played it, everyone played it. It was one of the most common things coming from Poland. Um, no, sorry, it was Gribayedov, but the dance comes from Poland and the dance is called Polonaise. Polonaise, that's what right. I meant Polonaise. That's right. it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So that's what it is. And um, Varlanov, who was the composer of this tune, um, he lived at that time when these Russian art songs were just forming. It was just, you know, same time as Glinka. Russian music was combining folklore and classical. So all these classical genres, classical dances were coming into Russia uh, and there were dance courts as well, dance balls, where these dances would be danced, you know, so this rhythm is kind of very natural for that time. So imagine this aristocracy in these dress, dressed up, um, you know, dresses and costumes and champagne and all that. And Lermontov lived in the same, you know, set that time. So all these balls and all these fancy, fancy dresses is just about that. And the dance was right there. So let's look at the, it's at our text, straight into the first verse. It's a very interesting poem. I like, I like the mood. Uh, not necessarily happy and joyous, but something else. I'm going to read the first line, uh, the first verse in the rhythm of the song. You can go with me or you can wait and listen. So I'm going in that tempo. One and two. Bilyet parus adinoki v tumane moria galubom. Что ищет он в стране далекой? Что кинул он в краю родном? And we repeat. Что ищет он в стране далекой? Что кинул он в, в краю родном? В краю. How is that? Too fast or not? Okay. Um, I think if you if you're not perfect, nobody will know. <laughs> we will try to put it to music slowly, slowly. I hope you can see my uh, writing here. I tried to fit it into the original Russian file. We'll go really slowly. Go with me. One, two. Mom. 
<laughs> Sorry, I didn't show you the last line. So let's let's look at what it means. I don't know if you can guess it if you haven't looked at translation yet. If you can, and if you don't speak Russian, if you can guess from the melody, the melody will be the the, the tempo will be much more than what we've just done. It's more like this. It's quite dramatic. Like that, yeah? So let's see if that matches the meaning. Belied is white, but it's to be white. It's, it's, it's a verb. Parus is a sail. Adinoki is lonely or on its own or alone. В тубане, in the mist, in the uh, haze, it says here, haze. Uh, море is sea, голубом is blue. So amid the light blue ocean haze. Что uh, ищет? What ищет is looks for, to search. On is he, it, he, the sail. В стране, you know in Russian every word has a he or a she or an it, yeah? Um, в стране, in a land, in a country, далекой, far away, what does he look for in the far away land? Что, what, кинул, left, threw away, left, like that. Он, he, it, в краю, in the place, in the land, родном. Родной is a concept which we discussed a few um, days ago. Родной does not translate. It says native here, but it's more than that. It's close to the heart. Radnoi is something that very, very your own. So the sail is on its own in the sea, far away, looking for something. Now, I wanted to ask, I know it's a lot of talking, but I wanted to ask someone in this group to read the full translation of the whole poem to us, somebody who can read English nicely, who can volunteer to do that. Any nice readers, just jump in and do it. Yes, Phil. The, the English. A sail yeah. drifts white and on its own. Amid the light blue ocean haze, what does it seek in a distant country? What has made it leave its native bays? Great billows play, high winds are whistling, down at the bending, creaking mast. Oh, this one seeks no happy ending and does not flee a happy past beneath a brighter stream than azure. Above, the golden sun ray flows, yet this one, restive, Quests for tempests, as if in tempests were repose. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if it carries, the, it's been oh, like, you, they're <laughs> clapping to you. Encore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if it carries that um, sense of uh, restlessness and look, yeah, S sense of looking for something, for maybe some trouble, but some movement, something different, something, a change, a change, which is, you know, what's happening right now. I love looking for change. So we're going to sing it one more time, first verse all the way through with text. Uh, now, can you tell me if we can, you know what, I'll keep you on the music just for one more one more time, and then we'll just look at the text. Now, we are still in G minor. Next time round, we might go up a bit. I hope some of you are warming up. Let's go. Right? Okay? Good. Now, uh, shall we do at least one more verse? Shall we look at the third one? That's the third one. Uh, so we just sing two verses safely together. Right. Let's go. So I'm not going to show you this music anymore. I think you know it now. So we're looking at the third one. Pad Nilstruya. Read with me in the rhythm of the song. I'm hearing someone. Yeah, I think we've muted. Yeah, no use. Okay. Third verse in the rhythm of the song. One and two. Pad Nilstruya. Светлей лазури, над ним луч солнца золотой, а он мятежный просит бури, как будто... 
табурях есть покой. And repeat. А он мятежный просит бури, как будто в бурях есть покой. Окей? Okay? Everyone okay? You can always do la la la, right? So, let's sing it. Third verse together. We're going up a tone. Now, the, the, the high note may be a bit high for some of us. Skip it, okay? Don't hurt yourself. Um, don't hurt your, your neighbor's dog's ears. Um, right. Yeah, we see it. Okay. Let's go. Под ним струя светлей лазори, Над ним луч солнца золотой, А он мятежный просит бури, Как будто бури. Есть покой, а он мятежный просит бури, как будто в бурях есть покой. Честный чун, ла-ла-ла, ла-ла-ла-ла, Fantastic, very good, lovely, lovely. Very, good. very good, very good. Tongue is tangled. No, I want, I want to hear from you. Does this sound Russian to you? Uh, the tune, just imagine. Yeah, Mark Hansen is nodding. Um, my tongue is tangled. Yeah, I know this. Well, um, what I find interesting is that these art song composers did not really aim to sound Russian. They just wrote music they liked. So there are lots of Russian art songs that to me sound totally Russian because I grew up with them. But some people say that they, they this could be a, um, an Italian or a Polish or a something art song from the same kind of time. I don't know. But with the language and with the meaning, I think it becomes no. Yes, you see, no. Okay, so um, Oh, I don't want to talk too much about Lermontov the poet, uh, but if you have time to read Lermontov and you know Russian, read Lermontov in Russian. If you don't read Lermontov in Russian, a lot of his poems and prose is translated into English and it's very interesting in its romanticism. Um, if anyone knows uh, Lermontov, uh, has read Lermontov, let me know here because I find him one of the most amazing uh, characters. He, he was 26 years when he died in a duel, 26, just approaching 27. Uh, not like Pushkin, Pushkin was almost 37 and that's early. But Lermontov was a totally different story. He rebelled, he, he wanted trouble, he wanted something different. Like in that poem, that sail doesn't want calmness. And, you know, he wants, the, he, the sail wants the big waves. 
So let's um, let's make big waves, uh, sound waves right here, right now. We will go through the song a few times. Now, because I knew we would have um, spare time today, I thought we could try and sing it in a very high or very low key. Yes, so uh, because we have some sopranos here and we have some tenors here, people who are in between these things. Can we do it one time, just the tune, yeah, looking at the chat, not at the music. Going in D minor, which is a, somewhere completely different. So low voices. La, 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 la. All right, and high voices. Da, 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 da. Okay? I'll be squeaking high like a mouse. Let's see, okay? To get, for some of us, it'll be a good exercise. Do at least some of it. Warm up, warm up, you know, give some movement to your um, vocal uh, muscles. Let's go. La la la. La 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 Beautiful. <laughs> it's to be in a high key for you to sound dramatic. So um, you see, it sounds good when it's strained, right? So let's go back to our first, uh, to A minor, which would be comfortable for most of us. Do the whole thing all the way through. Now, um, it should be a bit faster and ha have a bit more energy. These huge waves, that restlessness. Uh, so maybe for uh, language verses, we go slower, but we will do la la la's. And on these, we'll, let's go a bit more energetic. So sit upright, get ready. Uh, la la la, first verse, la la la. Third verse, la la la. Hearing, yeah. <laughs> what instruments am I hearing? I heard uh, a violin, right? 
Who is playing violin? Somebody was playing violin, right? Oh yeah, guitar. <laughs> Are you jumping keys? Buddy, I came late. <laughs> All right. Well, you're here. That's good. Uh, and we have a, you know, we have a good group here today. All the lots of regular. Anyone new at all? I don't see many new people. I have, I see semi new people who are here for the. Oh, Julian Brown, you're here for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. With how, this. Did you, how did you find out about us? Um, no idea. Somebody told me. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good enough. So we're still getting new people. Right. So I guess um, we will just do the whole thing one more time. We have a couple of minutes to have a little chat if you have to, you know, if you have anything to say. Um, these sessions used to be 30 minutes originally. Now we have 40. So we can relax a bit. Um, I have a question to you. Last time when we had a run of 10, uh, because we had hackers and we had um, broken internet, there was an extra session to kind of socialize and talk a bit. Now, my question to you is whether we want that this time or not. And I suspect that if I say let's, a few people will want to do it. So I'm thinking about this, having a little social session, uh, no payments, no, no kind of no kind of structure. We just talk how you are, how you are in these sessions, how is your singing, how is your life? just you know meet and greet if you want something like this please let me know in chat and i will read it and i'll, I'll think about it now also it sounds like we might be coming out of our lockdown at least a bit from next week from monday uh, certainly here in britain i don't know I, i'm not commenting whether it's right or wrong but it may be that people will start going out more and if they start going out more, that fewer people will come to this session. So I don't know how the situation is at the moment. If you have any ideas, any thoughts, let me know. We still have Yiddish song tomorrow, Russian song the day after, Yiddish song the day after, and then Sklambrig and the Shepherds concert, New York, uh, Brighton, you know. And after that, I'm thinking what to do next, not to do, what to do, you know, all these questions. So let me know, okay? Any thoughts, any thoughts, you, you, anything you have to say. And back to our song, ready? Now, uh, please let me know by doing this or that, if the key is too high for you or too low for you. Let me see the, the general in front of your screen. Too high, too low. If it's no, if it's okay, don't do anything. Too... Elizabeth, you're confusing me, you're up or down. Uh, you seem to be okay. You're, you're great. You're all, you have big range. Okay, all of you. We'll stay where we are. We'll stay where we are. Okay. Here we go. Our last big sing for today, all the way through. Thank you. 
So uh, on this note, I say goodbye to you and I will see you or not see you. Keep well, keep uh, keep happy. And <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.